Well, hi, Digital Journalism One students. Um, this is a super weird time. It definitely is. And first and foremost, I just want to make sure that I express uh, how much I miss being in the class with all of you and that I really do sincerely hope you are as well and healthy and safe as possible in this moment. Um, as I've said in my emails, we are all going through this together, which really does provide me with some measure of comfort, and I hope it does for you as well. Um, this is the first time I've ever delivered a video lecture, um, so it's kind of weird. Bear with me, getting my bearings on some of this stuff. Uh, I find talking to a webcam is kind of strange. But it's really cool that we have this technology to be able to do this. Um, this is my home office that you are seeing. Ooh, look at all this cool stuff. What's that back there? Oh, some Star Trek memorabilia and other weird action figures. Babylon 5 poster. You haven't seen Babylon 5? Highly recommend it. It's an amazing show. Um, yeah, some of my other weird, quirky stuff. All my Dungeons and Dragons books. Unfortunately, not getting to play that right now. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is my home office. Welcome. Um, uh, okay, enough of that. Sorry if I go off on some tangents, um, but I guess you're all used to that from me by now. Um, so anyhow, um, this is going to be really a, a fairly simple um, lecture, if, if you can, can call it that. What I, I really want to do is just uh, go over what I expect from, from your next uh, assignment, uh, the profile of another digital journalist. Um, first of all, uh, as I've said in uh, my emails to you, you are under no obligation at this point to stick to your beat as you imagined it when we began the semester. Um, for a lot of you, it's going to be next to impossible to do that. Say you're covering, um, you know, Rowan athletics. There are no games being played. Um, <clears throat> that being said, if you can find ways to adapt your, uh, your beat to this current situation, I would highly encourage you to do so. Um, for instance, I think I mentioned this in one of my emails, but uh, one of your students was covering vegan restaurants and, and vegan menu options. Obviously, restaurants, um, not really a place that uh, we're going to these days. So for her ThingLink project, she did, uh, she, she created a series of ThingLink um, interactive images of her creating a, one of her favorite vegan dishes at home. It was super interesting, super informative. It had all the elements. It had, you know, the audio tags and the video tags, um, interesting captions. So there are creative ways for you to adapt your beat to the current situation. Um, that being said, if you want to do something different um, for, for the remainder of these assignments that don't necessarily follow your beat to the letter, then uh, you certainly can. And I'll take that on an assignment by assignment basis. That being said, the parameters of these last three assignments will uh, more or less be the same. I, I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. They Let's talk about this assignment, because for this assignment, the parameters are exactly the same as they would have been otherwise. This profile of another digital journalist is actually kind of the perfect assignment for you to be tackling uh, during this first week, uh, two weeks of remote learning, because it doesn't require you to meet with somebody in person. Uh, it doesn't require you to, to go anywhere. This assignment, even before all of this happened, uh, this assignment was, uh, was entirely something that you would do uh, from your home or your, your, uh, your personal computer. So what is it? What I want you to do is to find uh, another digital journalist online doing, ideally, uh, the same type of work that you've been doing or covering a similar type of uh, beat 
And this can be somebody from anywhere in the world. Um, for example, if you're covering South Jersey restaurants, you could find a South Jersey digital food journalist um, who runs their own independent uh, website. If you're covering some sort of music genre, you could find a, a, an indie music digital journalist. If you're covering something like Rowan football, you could find, uh, or Rowan baseball, you could find another digital journalist uh, who's covering a, uh, a team from um, another college or university or high school. It's totally up to you. Um, you're going to find this person online. How you go about finding this person is going to, um, is going to vary. I always encourage students to really start with a simple Google search. Um, you know, vegan food, food blogger, um, Penn State football blogger, um, you know, fill in the blanks with whatever seems appropriate for your particular beat. Um, as with all things, I would highly encourage you to reach out to more than one person. I think uh, you're going to, people are, people are very busy right now uh, in ways that they weren't, but they're also, they've also got more time on their hands. It's a weird dichotomy. Um, so given the current circumstances, it might make reaching out to people a little bit more challenging, but at the same time, it could mean that people are going to be more willing to speak with you and to share their stories. And, um, but either way, it's going to depend on you reaching out to probably two or three different individuals. And, uh, once you do, and you make contact with somebody, you're going to conduct uh, an interview over the phone, over Skype, uh, FaceTime, whatever you want to do. It's it's totally up to you. And ultimately, you're going to be writing uh, a mini profile of this individual, somewhere in the neighborhood of three to five hundred words. And this is all, by the way, explained on the profile uh, post five assignment on our class blog, which I will link to uh, on this week's updated uh, post. <clears throat> But what are you looking to get from this person? Um, obviously, the basic info, their full name, age, hometown, the title of their website, etc. cetera. Um, when did they start covering this topic? How, uh, you know, why did they start this site? Um, what do they find most challenging about maintaining this site? Uh, what is most challenging about digital journalism in general? Um, how do they use various forms of media, right? How do they incorporate photos, audio, video, uh, how do they use social media to enhance the journalism that they do? Um, a big part of this assignment is to, first of all, get you to talk with interesting people who are doing similar work as you, but to also get some tips from these folks who are going to be more experienced at this than you are. Um, and asking some of these questions about how they use different forms of media, I think will be uh, educational for you and interesting for you. Um, talk to them about what role they see digital web-based journalism playing in the future of journalism uh, as a whole. Um, what's most interesting or exciting about running their site? And what advice would they have for somebody such as yourself um, currently uh, trying to do the thing that you're doing? As with all things, if their work has been impacted by the uh, coronavirus, uh, by um, by the, <clears throat> the measures that we're taking as a society to distance ourselves temporarily. Um, if in any way their work is impacted by this current situation, definitely touch on that. I, I don't want any of you to feel like we need to proceed with these assignments as if nothing has happened not, or nothing has changed. Um, I think you're going to get some really interesting stories and be able to get... Uh, I hear my toddler downstairs. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but yeah. Um, being in lockdown with a three-year-old, definitely an interesting experience. I really think there's an opportunity here to, to conduct this assignment uh, in some ways uh, that will be much more dynamic and interesting than uh, any semester in the past. Because if you, have, if you do wind up profiling somebody whose work um, has been impacted positively or negatively. It, it can be either. Um, I think it's an opportunity for you to um, play a role in, in telling these stories in this unique moment, uh, in this unique time that, that we're living through. So lean into that um, if, if you feel like it's appropriate. 
Um, if not, that's fine too. Um, you know, it's it's an inescapable topic, so I imagine that you'll at least have some conversation about it, even if it's anecdotally. Um, but I, I really leave it up to you to to decide on how much to to touch on uh, this current situation, whether it's appropriate or not. Um, so again, for this piece, uh, like I said, I'm looking for about three to five hundred words. Um, I want you to quote your subject uh, a few times throughout, you know, in quotation marks, actually give us some of the things that um, that they said. And in terms of the criteria, a lot of it is going to be fairly familiar to you. Descriptive headline with keywords um, and a photo of your sub subject, excuse me, a photo of your subject, uh, have them send you one or ask them where they could, could uh, where you could get a photo of them uh, online. Uh, we definitely want to see a photo of your subject with a caption that credits where you got it. Um, at least five hyperlinks. Uh, one of the things that I'm looking for here is, again, original reporting and effort. Did you find a relevant, um, a relevant blogger, a relevant online journalist who has something to say um, about your topic or some other variation? Um, the content of the profile. Um, is it compelling? Uh, does it offer useful, nuanced information? Is it interesting to read? Uh, I, I do want you to pay attention to crafting a profile here that is uh, is actually interesting and valuable to your audience. And then finally, a promotional link, uh, or sorry, a link to your promotional tweet for that particular post. Um, yeah, it's a fairly straightforward assignment. You have uh, until April 10th to post this. I will, uh, I will be putting all deadlines and everything on our site week by week, as I did before this all uh, started. Um, let's see, what else? I think that kind of covers it for now. Um, uh, I will also be posting some content for you to, uh, some podcasts for you to listen to uh, in the coming week. Uh, as we go into next week, we are going to be touching on really kind of the final um, the final piece of new technology, um, I put that in quotation marks because it's not really new, but you will be recording uh, an audio interview and uh, with somebody. Again, we will adapt this to make it work for your current situation, um, so don't worry too much about those parameters just yet. I'll be doing a more extensive video lecture on the audio assignment uh, next week. Who knows? Who knows what makes a toddler cry? Could be anything. Could be absolutely anything. Okay, I think he's good. Anyway, uh, he, my wife is with him, by the way. <laughs> Lest any of you thought that I was just leaving my three-year-old downstairs to uh, fend for himself. So anyhow, good luck on this assignment. Um, please reach out to me with any questions you have. If you want to run an idea by me, if you have anything about, if there's anything about this assignment that is confusing or you're uncertain about, um, just send me an email, send me a text. As I said in my emails to you, you can use my, my cell number is the number on your syllabus and on my email signature. If you do text me, let me know who it is. Um, and yeah, again, even though you have till April 10th, don't put this off. I know you're dealing with, I'm not the only class that you're taking right now. And I know that you're all adjusting and that's totally fine, but try to uh, manage your time as well as you can this week and start reaching out to uh, possible subjects for this assignment um, over the next few days. Um, I think you all know by now how tricky it can be to get interviews. So build that in uh, in terms of your, your expectations and, and time management. Um, yeah, I think that, that covers it. Check the Keep checking the class uh, blog for updates on things that I'm expecting you to um, read or listen to. And I want to reiterate again, I am, I am disappointed, of course, that we don't get to finish our semester the way um, it started and the way that I was looking forward to finishing it with you. But I am supremely confident that you are going to still be able to create interesting, um, valuable journalism uh, during this time. And I'm here to answer your questions, to, um, 
just yeah anything that you may need to uh, to discuss I'm here so I think that does it anything else cool in my office that I wanted to show you no not for now maybe I'll start including maybe I'll start including uh, little Easter eggs of cool things yeah I've got a puppet over there yeah maybe I'll show you the puppet later anyway <laughs> Super weird, um, but thanks for watching, and um, be well.